Judges chapter 18 The migration of Dan In those days there was no king in Israel and in those days the tribe of the Danites were seeking for itself an inheritance to dwell in for until then no inheritance among the tribes of Israel had fallen to them so the Danites sent five able men from the whole number of their tribe from Zora and from Eshtol to spy out the land and to explore it and they said to them go and explore the land and they came to the hill country of Ephraim to the house of Mika and lodged there when they were by the house of Mika they recognized the voice of the young levite and they turned aside and said to him who brought you here what are you doing in this place What is your business here? And he said to them, Thus and thus has Mika dealt with me. He has hired me and I have become his priest. And they said to him, Inquire of God, we pray thee, that we may know whether the journey on which we are setting out will succeed. And the priest said to them, Go in peace, the journey on which you go is under the eye of the lord then the five men departed and came to laish and saw the people who were there how they dwelt in security after the manner of the sidonians quiet and unsuspecting lacking nothing that is in earth and possessing wealth and how they were from the sidonians and had no dealings with anyone And when they came to their brethren at Zora and Eshtol their brethren said to them What do you report they said Arise and let go up against them for we have seen the land and behold it is very fertile And will you do nothing do not be slow to go and enter and possess the land When you go you will come to an unsuspecting people the land is broad yea god has given it into your hands a place where there is no lack of anything that is in the earth and 600 men of the tribe of dan armed with weapons of war set forth from zora and eshtol and went up and encamped at kira jerim in judaya On this account that place is called Mahaneh Dan to this day behold it is west of Kirat Jerem they were passed on and there to the hill country of Ephraim and came to the house of Mika then the five men who had gone to spy out the country of Laish said to their brethren do you know that in these houses There are an ephod, teraphim, a graven image, and a molten image. Now, therefore, consider what you will do. And they turned aside thither, and came to the house of the young Levite at the home of Mika, and asked him of his welfare. Now, the six hundred men of the Danites, armed with their weapons of war, stood by the entrance of the gate, and the five men. who had gone to spy out the land went up and entered and took the graven image the ephod the teraphim and the molten image while the priest stood by the entrance of the gate with the 600 men armed with weapons of war and when these went into mika's house and took the graven image the ephod the teraphim and the molten image the priest said to them What are you doing? And they said to him, Keep quiet. Put your hand upon your mouth and come with us, and be to us a father and a priest. It is better for you to be a priest to the house of one man, or to be a priest to a tribe and family in Israel. And then the priest's heart were glad. He took the ephod and the teraphim and the graven image. and went in the midst of the people so they turned and departed 
putting the little ones and the cattle and the goods in front of them. When they were a good way from the home of Mecca, the men who were in the houses near Mecca's house were called out, and they overtook the Danites, and they shouted to the Danites, who turned around and said to Mecca, What ails you that you come with such a company? And he said, You take my gods which I made, and the priest, and go away. And what have I left? How then do you ask me what ails you? And the Danites said to him, Do not let your voice be heard among us, lest angry fellows fall upon you, and you lose your life with the lives of your household. Then the Danites went their way, and when Mika saw that they were too strong for him, he turned and went back to his home. The Danites settled in Laish. And taking what Mika had made, and the priest who belonged to him, the Danites came to Laish, to a people quiet and unsuspecting, and smote them with the edge of the sword, and burned the city with fire. And then, and there was no deliver, because it was far from Sidon, and they had no dealings with anyone. It was in the valley which belongs to Bethrehob. They and they rebuilt the city and dwelt in it. and they named the city dan after the name of dan their ancestor who was born to israel but the name of the city was laish in the first and the danites set up the graven image for themselves and jonathan the son of gershom son of moses and his sons were priests to the tribe of the danites until the day of the captivity of the land so they set up mika's graven image which he made as long as the house of god was in silo judges 19 the levites concubine in those days when there was no king in israel a certain levite was sojourning in the remote parts of the hill country of ephraim who took to himself a concubine from bethlehem in juda and his concubine became angry with him and she went away from him to her father's house in bethlehem in juda and there and was there some four months then her husband arose and went after her to speak kindly to her and bring her back he had with him his servant and a couple of asses and he came to her father's house and when the girl's father saw him he came with joy to meet him and his father-in-law the girl's father made him stay and he remained with them 3 days so they ate and drank and lodged there and on the fourth day they arose early in the morning and he prepared to go but the girl's father said to his son-in-law strengthen your heart with a morsel of bread and after that you may go so the two men sat and ate and drank together and the girl's father said to the man be pleased to spend the night and let your heart be merry And when the man rose up to go his father-in-law urged him till he lodged there again and on the fifth day he arose early in the morning to depart and the girl's father said strengthen your heart and tarry until the day declines so they both ate and when the man and his concubine and his servant rose up to depart his father-in-law the girl's father said to him behold Now the day has waned toward evening. Pray tarry all night. Behold, the day draws to its close. Lord, cheer and let your heart be merry. And tomorrow you shall rise early in the morning for your journey and go home. But the man would not spend the night. He rose up and departed and arrived opposite Jebus, that is Jerusalem. He had with him a couple of saddled asses. and his concubine was with him when they were near jebus the day was far spent and the servant said to his master come now let us turn aside to the city of jebusites and spend the night in it and his master said to him we will not turn aside into the city of foreigners who do not belong to the people of israel but we will pass on to geba and he said to his servant Come and let us draw near to one of these places and spend the night at Gibeah, 
or at Brahma. So they passed on and went their way, and the sun went down on them near Geba, which belongs to Benjamin. And they turned aside there to go and spend the night at Geba, and he went in and sat down in the open square of the city, for no man took them into their house to spend the night. And behold, an old man was coming from work in the field that evening. The man was from the hill country of Ephraim, and he was sojourning at Gibha. The men of the place were Benjaminites, and he lifted his eyes and saw the wayfarer in the open square of the city. And the old man said, Where are you going, and whence do you come? And when he said to him, We are passing from Bethlehem in Judah to the remote parts of the hill country of Ephraim, from which I come. I went to Bethlehem in Judah, and I am going to my home, and nobody takes me into his house. We have straw and provender for our asses, with bread and wine for me and your maid servant, and the young man with your servants. There is no lack of anything. And the old man said, Peace be to you. I will care for all your wants. Only do not spend the night in the square. So he brought him to his house and gave the asses provender, and they washed their feet and ate and drank. Gibbah's crime. As they were making their hearts merry, behold, the men of the city, base fellows, beset the house around. Round about, beating on the door, and they said to the old man, the master of the house, Bring out the man who came into your house, that we may know him. And the man, the master of the house, went out to them and said to them, No, my brethren, do not act so wickedly, seeing that this man has come into my house. Do not do this vile thing. Behold, here are my virgin daughter. And his concubine. Let me bring them out now. Ravish them and do with them what seems good to you. But against this man, do not do so vile a thing. But the men would not listen to him. So the man seized his concubine and put her out to them. And they knew her and abused her all night until the morning. And as the dawn began to break, they let her go. And as morning appeared, the woman came and fell down at the door of the man's house where her master was, till it was light. And her master rose up in the morning, and when he opened the doors of the house and went out to go his way, behold, there was his concubine lying at the door of the house with her hands on the threshold. He said to her, Get up, let us be going. But there was no answer. Then he put her upon the ass, and the man rose up and went away into his home. And when he entered his house, he took a knife, and laying hold of his concubine, he divided her, limb by limb, into twelve pieces, and sent her throughout all the territory of Israel. And all those who saw it said, Such a thing has never happened or been seen from the day that the people of Israel came up out of the land of Egypt. Until this day, consider it, take counsel, and speak. Judges chapter 20 The other tribes attacked Benjamin. Then all the people of Israel came out from Dan to Beersheba, including the land of Gilead, and the congregation assembled as one man to the Lord of Mizpah. And the chiefs of all the people, of all the tribes of Israel, presented themselves in the assembly of the people of God, four hundred thousand men on foot that drew the sword. Now the Benjaminites heard that the people of Israel had gone up to Mizpah. And the Levite, the husband of the woman who was murdered, answered and said, I come to Gibha that belongs to Benjamin, I and my concubine, to spend the night, and the men of Gibha rose against me, and beset the house around me by night. They meant to kill me, and they ravished my concubine, and she is dead. 
and i took my concubine and cut her in pieces and sent her throughout all country of the inheritance of israel for they have committed abomination and wantonness in israel behold you people of israel all of you give your advice and counsel here and all the people arose as one man saying we will not we will not any of us go to his tent and none of us will return to his house but now this is what we will do to geba we will go up against it by lot and we will take 10 men of 100 throughout all tribes of israel and 100 of 1000 and 1000 of 10000 to bring provisions for the people that when they come they may require giba of benjamin for all the wanton crime which they have committed in israel so all the men of israel gathered against the city united as one man and the tribes of israel sent men through all the tribes of benjamin saying what wickedness is this that has taken place among you now therefore give up the men the base fellows of giba that we put them to death and put away evil from israel but the benjaminites would not listen to the voice of their brethren the people of israel and the benjaminites came together out of the cities of geba to go out to battle against the people of israel and the benjaminites mustered out of their cities on that day 26000 men that drew the sword besides the inhabitants of geba who mustered 700 picked men Among all these was seven hundred picked men who were left-handed. Every one could sling a stone at a hair and not miss. And the men of Israel, apart from Benjamin, mustered four hundred thousand men that drew sword. All these were men of war. The people of Israel arose and went up to Bethel and inquired of God. Which of us shall go up first to battle against the Benjaminites? And the Lord said, Judah shall go up first. Then the people of Israel rose in the morning and encamped against Gibha. And the men of Israel went out to battle against Benjamin. And the men men of Israel drew up the battle line against them at Gibha. The Benjaminites came out of Gibha and fell to the ground on that day. 22000 men of the israelites but the people the men of israel took courage and again formed the battle line in the same place where they had formed it on the first day and the people of israel went up and wept before the lord until the evening and they inquired of the lord shall we again draw near to battle against our brethren the benjaminites and the lord said go up against them so the people of israel came near against the benjaminites the second day and benjamin went against them out of geba the second day and fell to the ground 18000 men of the people of israel all these were men who drew the sword then all the people of israel the whole army went up and came to bethel and wept they sat there before the lord and fasted that day until evening and offered burnt offerings and peace offerings before the Lord and the people of Israel inquired of the Lord for the ark of the covenant of God was there in those days and the Phinehas the son of is Elzear son of Aaron ministered it in those days saying shall we yet again go out to battle against our brethren the Benjaminites or shall we cease and the Lord said go up for tomorrow i will give them into your hand so israel set men in ambush round about geba and the people of israel went up against the benjaminites on the third day and set themselves in array against geba as at the other times and the benjaminites went out against the people and were drawn away from the city and as the other times they began to smite and kill some of the people in the highways one of which goes up to bethel and the other to geba and in open country about 30 men of israel and the benjaminites said they are routed before us as at first 
But the men of Israel said, Let us flee and draw them away from the city to the highways. And all the men of Israel rose up out of their place and set themselves in array at Balathamar. And the men of Israel who were in ambush rushed out of their place west of Geba. And they came against Gibha, ten thousand picked men out of all Israel, and the battle was hard. But the Benjaminites did not know the disaster was close upon them. And the Lord defeated Benjamin before Israel. And the men of Israel destroyed 25,100 men of Benjamin that day. All these men were who drew the sword. So the Benjaminites saw that they were defeated. The men of Israel gave ground to Benjamin because they trusted to the men in ambush whom they had set against Geba. And the men in ambush made haste and rushed before Geba. The men of ambush moved out and smote all the city with the edge of the sword. Now the appointed signal between the men of Israel and the men of in ambush was that there were made a great cloud of smoke rise up out of the city. The men of Israel should turn in battle. Now, ben, now Benjamin had begun to smite and kill about thirty men of Israel, they said. Surely they are smitten down before us, as in the first battle. But when the signal began to rise out of the city in a column of smoke, the Benjaminites looked behind them, and behold, the whole of the city went up in smoke to heaven. Then the men of Israel turned, and the men of Benjamin were dismayed, for they saw that disaster was close upon them. Therefore they turned their backs before the men of Israel in the direction of the wilderness, but the battle overtook them, and those who came out of the cities destroyed them in the midst of them. Cutting down the Benjaminites, they, pers they pursued them and trod them down from Noah, as far as as opposite Geba on the east. Eighteen thousand men of Benjamin fell, all of them men of valor. They turned and they turned and fled toward the wilderness to the rock of Rimon. Five thousand men of them were cut down in the highways, and they were pursued hard to Gedhon, and two thousand men of them were slain. So all who fell that day of Benjamin were twenty five thousand men that drew the sword all of them of Valor. But six hundred men turned and fled toward the wilderness of the rock of Rimon, the abode at the rock of Rimon four months. And the men of Israel turned back against the Benjaminites and smote them with the edge of the sword, men and beasts, and all that they found, and all the towns which they set, they found, they set on fire. Judges chapter 21 The Benjaminites saved from extinction Now the men of Israel had sworn to Mizpah, No one of us shall give his daughter in marriage to Benjamin. And the people came to Bethel and sat there till evening before God, and lifted up their voices and wept bitterly. And they said, O Lord, the God of Israel, why has this come to pass in Israel, that there should be today one tribe lacking in Israel. And on the morrow the people rose early and built an altar and offered burnt offerings and peace offerings. And the people of Israel said, Which of all the tribes of Israel did not come up in the assembly to the Lord? For they had taken a great oath concerning him who did not come up to the Lord of Mizpah, saying, He shall be put to death. And the people of Israel had compassion for Benjamin, their brother, and said, One tribe is cut off from Israel this day. What shall we do for wives of those who left us? Since we have sworn by the Lord that we will not give them any of our daughters or wives. And they said, What one is there of the tribe of Israel that did not come up to the Lord at Mizpah? And behold, no one had come up to the camp of Jabesh Gilead to the assembly. For when the people were mustered, behold, not one of the inhabitants of Jabesh Gilead was there. So the congregation sent their twelve thousand of their bravest men and commanded them, 
go and smite the inhabitants of Jabesh Gilead with the edge of the sword, also the women and the little ones. This is what you shall do. Every male and every woman that has lain with a male you shall utterly destroy. And they found among the inhabitants of Jabesh Gilead four hundred young virgins who had not known man by lying with them. And they brought them to the camp at Shiloh, which is in the land of Canaan. Then the whole congregation sent word to the Benjaminites who were at the rock of Ramon and proclaimed peace to them. And Benjamin returned at that time, and they gave them the women whom they had saved alive to the women of Jabesh Gilead, but they did not suffice for them. And the people had compassion on Benjamin because the Lord had made a breach in the tribes of Israel. Then the elders of the congregation said, What shall we do for wives of those who left, since the women are destroyed out of Benjamin? And they said, There must be an inheritance for the survivors of Benjamin, that a tribe be not blotted out of from Israel. Yet we cannot give them wives of our daughters. For the people of Israel had sworn, Cursed be he who gives a wife to Benjamin. So they said, Behold, there is the yearly feast of the Lord at Siloh, which is north of Bethel, on the east of the highway that goes up from Bethel to Shechem and south of Lebona. And they were commanded the Benjaminites, saying, Go and lie in wait in the vineyards, and watch. If the daughters of Siloh come out to dance in the dances, then come out to the vineyards and seize each man his wife from the daughters of Siloh, and go to the land of Benjamin. And when their fathers or their brothers come to complain to us, we will say to them, Grant them graciously to us, because we did not take each man of them his wife in battle. Neither did you give them to them, else you would now be guilty. And the Benjaminites did so, and took their wives according to their number from the dancers whom they carried off. Then they went and returned to their inheritance, and rebuilt the towns and dwelt in them. And the people of Israel departed from there at that time, every man to his tribe and family, and they went out from there, every man to his inheritance. In those days there was no king in Israel. Every man did what was right in his own eyes.